Welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the new Paul Macbeth Kratos, the Tour Series specifically, uh, in the Jawbreaker Z Flex plastic. These things feel insane. They look amazing. Uh, so we're going to compare it with the Proto Kratos. I know it's going to be a little more understable, um, but it's still a Kratos, so we're going to compare it. And then we're also going to compare it with the 2023 Tour Series Luna, because these were the ones that were the staple in my bag, the Luna that I was trying to look for. But honestly, I think throwing this Kratos for about a week now, this is the Luna I was looking for. So let's jump right into hole one here. Let's get it. Here at Bonneville Baptist Disc Golf Course, hole one, 310 feet basket just up there. I'm going to throw the Luna first and see how it flies. Putting a decent amount of torque on it, put it high. It kind of held over, but it still landed flat. So not bad stability for a Luna. Let's throw the other two and see how they fly. Lastly, let's throw the new Jawbreaker Z Flex Kratos. That is insanely good. Man, so the wind picked up just a little bit as I threw it. So threw on just a hair hyzer popped up. Uh, didn't quite turn really and then faded out pretty hard. So that's like the perfect throwing putter for that like 250 to 300 kind of range. If I threw it shorter, I wouldn't have to put it on that hyzer, just smooth it out there. But yeah, this thing has a ton of glide and good stability too, actually. Yeah, so initial thoughts. Tour Series Kratos is definitely the most stable. Such a pretty flight. Just pop up just a little bit from hyzer, hold it and then a pretty strong fade right at the end. Where the rubber bung Kratos, I actually had to put on a little hyzer for it to pop up and it held basically just straight, never ended up turning. And the Luna threw it basically flat, maybe a little hyzer, turned almost the whole way, but never turned over, which is good for a Luna. So if you're looking for that, that's a great slot. But yeah, this Kratos is just everything you want in a throwing putter. So yeah, let's go to hole two. 238, Kratos has the box here. So uh, this one's a little shorter. We're just gonna smooth it on up there and yeah, just see how they fly with a little less power. I think the Luna might actually be more stable than the rubber blind Kratos. Yeah, I put it on hyzer. It never actually really popped up. It got kind of up there, but it still pushed a little left. Yeah, the Tour Series Kratos is just something else. Like I threw it with a little bit of wobble. It turned a little bit and just popped right back out again. Super good. Hole three on the shorts here. Kratos still has the box. I'm going to give all three of these hyzers and see how they react to those. We got a little bit of a crosswind, so I'm going to just put it out wide, see how they do. Let's throw the Luna last. At this point, I'm not even going for the basket anymore. I'm just gonna throw it straight on hyzer, see how much it pops up compared to the two Kratoses. Uh, if it gets to the basket, great, but I kind of doubt it will. So I'd say first impressions here, the Tour Series Luna and the Rubber Blend Kratos are actually super similar to each other. So if you're looking for a Kratos that's a little less stable, the Rubber Blend's a great option, but the Tour Series Kratos is just it's honestly exactly what I'm looking for when I was throwing a Luna. For it to hold flat, carry, and then fade. Um, the funny thing is, I still don't think the numbers are accurate. The numbers for the Luna and the Kratos are actually the same, 3303. But if I had to actually give them a number, I'd say the Luna is more of like a 3501. And the Kratos, like this uh, Tour Series, is more of a 3402. So I don't think any of them have a 3 glide because these things kind of just go forever but i also don't think they have a three fade neither the luna nor the kratos hole six here from the longs is 289 let's give these all some turnovers but first let's have a special guest give us his thoughts we got trevor with us here so first impressions what do you think how does it look scale from uh one to ten well looks pretty awesome yeah that looks pretty awesome probably a, at least a nine out of ten on look not bad not bad feel 
Very nice. Yeah, it's like, a, like, I don't know, sometimes when you get premium plastics, they can just be like a little bit slick and they kind of just fall out of your hands, but this has just enough give that- Yeah, it feels it pretty grippy. feels good. Yeah. yeah. You want to give it a toss? Sure. Not bad, a little yeah. low. But yeah, but it's got like the- Very straight. A little bit more stability than you think. Like yeah. it kind of just like holds on just a little bit of a hyzer. It's nice. Rating out of 10? It's a nine. Nine. Cool. Yeah. yeah, thanks Trevor. Let's give these guys some backhand turnovers. Got a little bit of tailwind, so just gonna have to make sure I really commit to the Anheuser angle. Man, that thing does not want to turn over. Yeah. yeah, so I gave that thing some torque and yet it didn't really want to turn over. They're honestly super similar, the Rubber Blend Kratos and the Tour Series Luna. I could honestly go for either. I think if I had to choose between Rubber Blend and the Luna, I would probably go with the Luna because it is premium plastic. But if I had to choose between the three, it would definitely be the Kratos. Kind of seems to just be the jack of all trades. It, it's a solid throwing putter. Um, I use a Rubber Blend Luna in my bag for my more understable options. So I have a putter that I can throw flat and it's gonna turn over to the right for me when maybe the Kratos won't quite. Let's talk about feel. Trevor kind of said it all. It feels good. It has a really great flight, just a little bit of stability to it. If you put it high, it has the same glide as a Luna, maybe just a little less glide than a Luna, but um, you saw in hole one, I was able to just put it high. It just flipped up just a little bit, held it, and then eventually faded off in the end. Kind of the perfect throwing putter. Let's check out profile here. So yeah, you can see, honestly, it just looks a little bit like a beaded putter, which is exactly what it is. Hmm. Weird, weird how that happens. The big kind of controversy that happened with this is when they PDG approved the Kratos, the picture that they uploaded was tagged just a beaded Luna. So people were like, oh man, and like, they're not even releasing a new disc. It's just a beaded Luna. But I think that's exactly what this is. Um, it's a Luna that has more stability to it. And the nice thing too, is they actually, they didn't just throw a bead onto the bottom. They uh, kind of carved out the disc to put the bead in there. So it makes it a little bit shallower. It makes it significantly more overstable. And honestly, I think this is just a better Luna. Unless you're looking for something that is gonna potentially hold right for you, basically the whole flight and never quite fade, um, then you might want a Luna. But if you're wanting something that you can throw hard, don't have to worry too much about hitting the perfect line every single time. The Kratos is great for that. I've found myself reaching for this a whole lot more than I was my Tour Series Luna because I can trust it a little bit more than I could the Luna. Yeah, I'm excited to bag this this year. Go pick yours up from VR Disc Golf. You won't regret it. It's a really great disc. Use Dupree's 10. That's all I'm gonna say. Have a nice day.